Welcome back to GP Laps. Today we're here at the Thruxton Circuit in Grand Prix Legends for a fun F2 race uh, using some 1968 F2 cars. The Thruxton Circuit was recently revamped or uh, retextured, re-graphicked for Grand Prix Legends by Paul Skingley, really the famous guy in the Grand Prix Legends community. And uh, luckily, this is something that you know brought a lot of folks to check out this track for the first time, including myself. Uh, Thruxton, not a circuit that I was overly familiar with in the past, and so happy I did. It's a really quintessential British circuit, and hopefully I can share it with some folks today. Um, we're using the 1968 F2 cars. This uses uh, the 67 F2 mod for Grand Prix Legends, but has redone textures and graphics to uh, approximate the 68 cars, and I think does a great job at it. Get some recent updates in there as well. Uh, and so this is a great pairing because this was, I believe, the first year, 68, that uh, Thruxton actually hosted an F2 race. Uh, and why is Thruxton so interesting? Well, uh, we'll take a quick look at the track. Um, this is a really, really fast circuit. And I mentioned it's quintessentially British. It circles an airfield. You can't get much more British than that. But um, overall, the circuit is incredibly quick through these sweeping fast corners. Church is a, an incredibly difficult corner to get the line right. And then breaking into club, a little chicane at the end of the lap to uh, slow everything down and, and make you think as, as you come to the start finish line. So overall, a really interesting circuit. Took a lot of practice laps to get the line right. Uh, and one that I, I mentioned in my old park video, but uh, when I was looking at the 68 F1 mod, but uh, this circuit as well, I believe, is almost entirely the same today as it was back in 68 when it opened. So uh, a really interesting circuit to take a look at back then and uh, also today, you know, knowing that it's, it's pretty much the same. So we're going to do a really quick race around the circuit, nine laps. Uh, it's the short distance race for the F2 race, uh, but should hopefully give everybody an impression of what the circuit was like. So for the race today, we'll be driving the Matra MS7, which is a great F2 car, one that I love driving the Matras, and uh, a good amount of horsepower, but definitely not the quickest uh, F2 car that there was in 1967 or 1968. Um, qualified pretty far back on the grid, so we'll have to see how far we can get up in this little F2 race. On the grid here at Thruxton, a couple Ferraris in front with the high mounted wings, 1968 in its prime. Flag is up, down, we're underway. Quick flag release there. So trying to get a good run off the line, bogging down a little bit in second gear. We'll head into the first corner tentatively. We'll try to throw it up the outside. Uh, one of the Ferraris dipping in front of us as we get into fourth for just a second. Back down to second for Campbell, a really tight right hand corner. Oh, making a couple positions there is everyone getting bogged up through comb, car in front running a little wide onto the dirt. All's fair in an F2 race. Keep it in fourth gear here for this sweeping left hander. And then a really long right hand corner. It's so tricky to get the line right. We'll try to keep it nice and tidy. Try to get on the throttle as soon as possible. Get a right behind us as now we'll head towards a really difficult church corner, fifth gear, just dip off the gas, try to hit that apex, we'll bump, throwing us out wide a little bit. Not making up any time, but not losing too much either as we're down the fast back straightaway and then hard braking into the final club corners. Second gear, late shift down there. Uh, running a really weird line in, but somehow able to make it work. He's the runoff on exit and completing the first lap at Thruxton. So somehow making it through the melee of the F2 race there. Almost running out of the grass again. Trying to settle things in here. Second gear for Campbell. Oh, running really wide. Touching the outside of the circuit. Oh, Ferrari off there. Derek Bell, that Ferrari F2 in 1968 was not just up and coming drivers. Uh, 
1968 F2 famous obviously for Jim Clark dying and Thruxton would have been the first round actually without Jim Clark driving and so we've got a lot of Formula One drivers, we've got a lot of sports car drivers. It's definitely an interesting time to go to Thruxton and watch a fun motor race as we're flicking through church here. I'm taking a lot of liberty there to grab the inside and making the line all wrong as we're going to get overtaken now by the Ferrari up the inside. So we'll head towards the club. Ferrari dips back behind. Try to get it down to third gear, second, somehow able to keep in front while really clobbering the exit curve there, but making it work definitely wouldn't be nice on the suspension. Try to gather things back up. Can't let some hectic laps get away from us. Down to second gear, just missing. Campbell there so much. A really difficult corner to slow the car down for. The car is geared to go quick. Thruxton is a very quick circuit. Oh, I'm missing my shift a little bit there. Got it back into fourth though. Over revving the car a bit, but this is such a short race. Shouldn't matter too much. So we're picking up the throttle now nicely. We'll head once again towards church, see if we can get this corner right this time. A little bit better of a line, but running a little wide on exit, slowing us down slightly. That Ferrari with the extra downforce behind us, able to stick really close through those high-speed corners. Downforce, of course, would be most of an advantage at a high-speed circuit like this. Whoa, we had a car backwards through P9 on the last lap by with just six laps to go. So maybe P5 or P8 now. <laughs> Picking up a spot there on the final club corner. Let's see if we can get Campbell right this time, breaking a little more early. Car almost getting away on the entry. A little missing the apex, but a much nicer line this time. Watched a video of day BTCC driver talking through the circuit and the circuit is, is almost entirely the same and really interesting how they look at maximizing that straight line around a circuit like this. It's all about keeping the speed up. Shift and braking is just such a weird line, but honestly, really good through that time. We just got four laps to go. P8. Let's see if we can get up a, at least a couple more positions here. Just barely 
keeping the car on the circuit. Cars in front dicing for positions, only gonna help me out. this close really hard to make a dive bomb attempt and honestly not a lot of corners here where you can outbreak somebody just into club I constantly have my eyes on the mirror behind me for that Ferrari group of cars in front and a couple more spinning out as we'll get through the chicane and I think making up three or four spots there it seemed like a couple cars causing an incident in front of me almost getting it handed to me there but honestly not unrealistic for an F2 race just a lot of drivers trying to prove something trying to keep things together now that we've gained a few positions. We've still got one car at least in front. I've done a few fun races at a few circuits and haven't seen any kind of pileups or anything just like that yet. We'll have to see the next time through here what things look like. But potentially now up onto the podium, we've got one, might be a Lotus in front of me. Pit board this time by to see how things have shaken out. Just dip it through church, missing that apex over the hump in the middle. Revs bogging down, just getting under 6,500. It seems the car just does not accelerate. Got a yellow flag out. We'll take it a little easier. I don't got anybody directly behind me. Second gear then seeing too much of a mess. We got one car on the inside there. We'll take a look. So P4 with just two laps to go. Let's see if we can pull in on this red car in front. Clipping the apex nicely, missing that one a little bit to get the foot down on the pedal. Oh, I'm missing that upshift again, same exact spot. For some reason that third to fourth shift is not as easy as it should be, but recovering quite well. Dipping the car onto the inside of the grass. church then just hopping and really running it wide that marshall post on the outside very easy to run wide and, and run into i can imagine down a third gear maybe breaking a little earlier than i need to now that the tires are up to temperature but uh, trying to get a good acceleration done Spinning the car out, losing a ton of positions. Able to pick it back up quickly as I think we're now on the final lap and throwing away the potential podium there. Oh, and throwing it up <laughs> terribly through Campbell and Combe. See if we can sneak it up the upside, inside here, recover at least a little bit. Definitely a Lotus in front of us. I know Jackie Oliver is now replacing Jim Clark and Graham Hill drove the other Lotus in F2 for 1968. 
church for the final time though. We'll head towards the club as we've got a good run. One of the Ferrari taking our line away. Having a break pretty hard there. Lotus able to sneak back up the outside. Oh, and smacking into the back of the Lotus. So we'll come to the line here. I think it was Jackie Oliver. We'll come to take the checkered flag. So pretty brutal race. But I guess what could you expect for an F2 race? A lot of, a lot of drivers trying to prove themselves. A couple pileups, punting a Lotus on the last lap. Suspension is completely sideways now on the car. Hard to drive it straight. Jackie Oliver though getting the finish and coming by me. But just a fun race all around, I think. Uh, a little, little disappointed that I spun with just a couple laps to go in the final uh, club corner, but able to recover quite well, I think, spinning the car around and getting it back into first gear. So not much to complain about, at least from a recovery standpoint. Uh, but this this is super fun. I think uh, checking out circuits like this, we got a couple cars stopped here. Checking out circuits like this, especially uh, you know being prompted to by a new update or something, is uh, is really fun. And uh, Thruxton's now a circuit that I know in Britain and, and one that uh, I'm really interested in, or would definitely want to watch some races there in real life. And the graphical update for the circuit looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, you know, it's it's not. Uh, the circuit itself is, is super old. I think this track was made in the late 90s or early 2000s for Grand Prix Legends. So to have an update uh, that makes it look this good is, is quite impressive. And Paul Singley has done a great job there. So we'll take a quick look at the uh, final results. I know I didn't look at the qualifying order to start things, but we'll take a look. Jakin Rint uh, in the Brabham car winning from Jackie Stewart and Pedro Rodriguez. So like I said, the F1 guys raced F2 uh, in 19, the 1960s, really. Um, and then we got a couple other drivers and myself, Richie Axelson, sixth place uh, finishing out there. So I guess we would have gotten points, uh, but could have potentially had a podium finish. I think I was chasing down Pedro Rodriguez for that position. So I hope folks enjoyed this. Thruxton's a cool circuit, I think, uh, and one that I look forward to doing more racing at in the future. Uh, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again next time.